Meet legendary paddleboarder Jamie Mitchell. Jamie won the first Molokai to Oahu race he ever entered. The grueling 32-mile course is considered the world title of paddling. Jamie won it 10 times in a row. Having conquered the world of paddleboarding, don't say conquered. Oh, sorry. Having been successful in paddleboarding, Mitchell shifted his focus to big wave surfing. Jamie keeps fit with all manner of ocean activities, but which form of training is best? Jamie had no idea. And then Jamie met Fitbit. I've always loved cross training. It's a great way to keep your training and fitness fun and get yourself out of your comfort zone. But I wasn't really sure which of my activities were the most effective. So I thought I'd test them all side by side and see what sort of info the Fitbit came up with. Paddling is something I've done since I was five years old. It's a meditation for me to be out in the ocean and it's one of the best all-round workouts you can do. Foiling is interesting. It's something I've been playing around with lately. It looks like it's not much exercise, but when you're stabilizing your core the entire time, squatting and paddling as well, it's an incredible workout, but also really fun to be flying over waves like that. Swimming is one of the best exercises there is. There's very little impact or strain on your body. Great cardio and breath work and you're working out your entire body. It's also very peaceful and calming for me. Trail running is great because you can do it anywhere, anytime. It's so important to get your heart pumping every day and running does just that. But I'm definitely not a treadmill kind of guy. I like to get out in nature and experience the world around me. Running's good like that. Okay, sorry guys, gotta go. Surfing is my true passion these days, so when I get the call to chase a swell somewhere, I want to be ready. Working with Fitbit was a good reminder that it's not so much what you do, but how you do it. If you're willing to push yourself, mix it up, and just keep training, then you're going to be feeling strong when the waves start pumping.